Meet the Munch Bunch. In the Corn Exchange. The Munch Bunch, munch bunch. have run away. The Munch Bunch, munch bunch. have here to stay. The Munch Bunch, munch bunch. have found a home. With a garden, there's a leak of pepper pear. Pepper from without a care. Spider, Casper, Carrot, Ali, Onion, too. The Munch Bunch, munch bunch. have run away. The Munch Bunch, munch bunch. have here to stay. The Munch Bunch, munch bunch. have found a home. Settle down, the munch bunch, munch bunch, way out of town. The munch bunch, munch bunch, have all the things they want. What's up there, Bounce? Looks like a lot of old tin cans tied together with string corny. Tin cans, eh? <laughs> now they'd make good water buckets. See if you can get them down, Bounce. Hmm. There's a hole in the bottom where the string goes through. Huh, and no good for a water bucket. Not really much good for anything at all. Oh, listening hard, I think I can hear the sea. Just a minute, Bounce. Say something else. I've got a good idea. Yeah, it's a very good idea. Bounce the space onion to Captain Corny. Are you receiving me? Over. Wonderful. It works. Hey, let go of me. Only footballers kiss each other. I can't read and I can't write, but I'm a great inventor. I'm oh so clever and funny all day, the school I never went to. Whatever are you doing, Corny? Opening a hardware store? No. Opening the Munch Bunch Corn Exchange. Munch Bunch Corn Exchange? What on earth's that? The sensational, revolutionary, amazing new telephone exchange. That's what, Potato Bonce. You take one tin can, uh, I mean telephone, I must remember to get it right, and you fix a length of wire in it like this, through this hole at the end here. And you can talk to someone down it, just like a real telephone. Just you wait until everyone in this village has their own telephone. They'll finally see me for what I am. Yeah, completely crackers. A genius, that's what. A genius. Now, let me see. Who shall I ring first? The choice is mind-boggling. La-da-da-da-da-da. You answer it. No fear. You answer it first. It might explode. Be so soft. It's only a telephone, I think. Oh dear, it stopped ringing. They didn't answer. Now, who else shall I ring? There, almost finished. I must say, I think the bells look just like real ones. Oh! Goodness gracious me, they've come to life. My bells have come to life. Now, what's up? Is Sally out as well? Why won't she answer? I'll have to tell everyone. They won't believe me. My paintings come to life. My bells are ringing. Oh, dear, I'm so excited. Oh! Oh, dear! Oh, my goodness! Oh, gosh, oh, golly! <laughs> what shall I do? They can't see me with my hair like this. That's very strange. No one seems to be in this morning. Where can all the girls be? Maybe the phone's not working properly. Ooh, what a shock. Huh, who's there? I mean, <coughs> corn exchange? Can I help you? Look here. I've been waiting in all morning, and my phone hasn't rung once. It's not working. What do you mean, it's not working? You're talking to me, aren't you? I don't care. Of course it's not working. No one has called me. There must be something wrong. What a cheek. 
It can't ring unless someone rings you, can it? Well, it's up to you to make sure I get some calls. Oh, go away. Now, let me see. I haven't called the Banana Bunch yet to test their line. Who's playing bells in this piece of music? I'm not. Me neither. Those bells are coming from your direction. No, they're not. Uh, oh, yes, so they are. <laughs> Funny. It's the telephone. The phone's ringing. I'll answer it. No, I will. I'm closest. I want to answer it. Oh, it stopped. They got fed up with ringing. It's our fault. We shouldn't argue so much. I'm not having much luck, am I? Everyone's out. Well, I think I'll go out too. Maybe they're all up to something and haven't told me. Hello, Corny. How's the amazing invention going? Oh, uh, uh, great. It's all happening over the road at the Corn Exchange. Good, I'm glad you hear it, because I want to make a telephone call. I'll come with you, just to make sure you do it right. There it is, my new telephone. Now to call Super Cool. <laughs> the line's gone dead. Of course it's not. It can't be. I tested all the lines. Let me listen. Hello? Hello? Operator? You daft bit of corn. You are the operator. Oh, yes, so I am. No wonder the line's dead. You should be at home operating things. Go on, get back to your exchange. Oh, oh, just in time. Uh, hello, corn exchange here. And about time too. Where have you been? Enough of that rudeness. Can I help you? Yes, my phone doesn't work. No one has called me yet, and I've been sitting here all morning waiting. It's working, so there. Oh, dear. I was very hasty there. I didn't mean to shout at Pete. He just makes me so annoyed. Uh, I know, I'll ask Ollie Onion to telephone him. Hello, Ollie. Is that you? Uh, well, listen. Could you do me a favour, please? Phone Pete. No one has rung him at all, and he's been waiting by his phone for hours. No, no, I won't. He's so bad-tempered. He'll make me cry. I know he will. I forgot you're such a crybaby. All right, I'll ask Super Cool. He keeps his cool at all times. <coughs> Is that you, Super Cool? Could you please phone Pete? I think he's lonely. He's so bad-tempered, he's gonna stay lonely. Yes? Hello? Who's that? It's me, Corny. And listen, Pete. There's no point in sitting by your telephone because no one's going to call you. They all say you're too bad-tempered and shout at them too much. It's all lies! Lies! That's what I mean. You've just got to improve your temper. You frighten everyone. I don't. I don't. I've got a lovely temper. You certainly have. Oh, dear. So it's all my own fault. I don't mean to be so bad-tempered. I think the best thing I can do is to leave here. I don't fit in. I think Peach is leaving the village. He thinks we don't want him because he's so bad-tempered. He's upset because no one will telephone him. This will never do. Why, it wouldn't be the same without good old Pete. Well, we'd better do something about it then, hadn't we? Yes. We'll get everyone to telephone him, so he feels wanted. I can't cope. This is too much. Everyone is calling Pete Pepper all at the same time. The lines are overheating. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Someone help me. This is no joke. Help! I'm on fire! Call the Navy! Call the Army! Call the Fire Brigade! It's all right. I'm here with my fire engine. I'll put out the fire. I'll save you. Good old Pete. 
Yes, what would we do without you? You're so brave. Whew, I'm glad you came so fast, Pete. Yes, you can't leave, Pete. We need you. Of course I'll stay. And I promise not to lose my temper again. Well, if you do, Pete, you can turn your hose around and cool yourself down. <laughs> the Munch Bunch, Munch Bunch have run away. The Munch Bunch, Munch Bunch are here to stay. The Munch Bunch, Munch Bunch have found a home. With the garden, Goldie on the cob is there. Bottom of a car to Hanging round the village hall just for a child. The Munch Bunch, Munch Bunch, are settled down. The Munch Bunch, Munch Bunch, way out of town.